Hi everyone, I wanted to share a little bit about myself with you um, so you know a little bit more about me and what I like to do for fun. Um, I like to play poker and as you can see I'm wearing my uh, World Series poker um, hoodie today uh, just to show you that um, yeah, I'm interested in the sport and I like to play on a pretty competitive level. I played in, in um, quite a few World Series events. I played the main event last year. I didn't play it this year. Um, I really regret the fact that I didn't but I just went to the series way too early and I was so burnt out and I had some people backing me that I, you know, if I'm not feeling 100% um, ready to play, I'm not gonna put myself out there even though I, I, I do regret it like this much um, because my friend um, I want to say congratulations to Ryan Reese he made final table this year um, I hope he wins the bracelet go Ryan yay um, this year a lot of my friends have won bracelets and it's pretty crazy um, those include like Brian Campanello uh, Kaylin McNeil uh, Lonnie Harwood and uh, yeah it's pretty cool to see them because to win that and achieve their dreams because they're like the nicest people ever. It's like almost like the year 2013 is the year of the good guys, right? So super proud of them and uh, yeah, so I put a lot of work into my game and I wanted to show you some of the books that um, will help you if you're a poker player or aspiring poker player and I don't like to do reviews so much and um, but I, t I read a lot of books. I just want to quickly share them with you what they are. Um, I, looking through my poker book library, I had like, I can't believe how many poker books I have. Um, I have about like 40 of them, so I think I should be a lot better than I am. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's a work in progress. And so the first book I wanted just to show you that really helped my game as a starter um, was, I think I read about five years ago. Um, so it was this one. It's called um, The Little Green Book. Um, I'm sure everybody has watch this or read this. Uh, someone's at my door. I have to interrupt uh, to cut this and I'll edit it later. Hi, I'm back and I had to find another spot because pretty much the family came home and they kicked me out and you would think that um, the person that pays the bills in the house would get first priority over the rooms but um, doesn't happen like that here. Um, so okay, so I left off with uh, the little green book. So the next one was uh, Reading Poker Tales, and this is by um, Zachary Elwood, and I wanted to say tribute to him because he sent, actually sent me this book, and um, it was actually one of the best books uh, on tales um, that I've actually read, and uh, that I've actually read from front to back. Um, I don't rely so much on tales, but this is this is if if you play live cash games or live, this is really a, a must read. I think because um, just even if you play and you wanted to just increase that little bit of um, extra value and to can maybe potentially take you from being a break-even player or, uh, to a profitable player, um, Tells could possibly help you. I mean, I'm a little bit iffy about Tells because of the fact that um, they can be misleading and it's hard to sort of decipher which one it is because people are good actors and, you know, they might have reverse Tells, they might have you know this and that so for me it's too much brain um, power to waste at the poker table to do that um, but that's just me uh, here's another book that I think is um, super duper amazing for me because uh, it's called the Zen and the art of poker I don't know if very many people read this um, but this was a gift um, by my friend and I loved it because I think my biggest uh, leak in my game is uh, my mental game. So I'm really, really need to get the mental game, of po mental game of poker by uh, Jared Tendler or something like that. Uh, so I'm gonna get that next and actually have it on order. And after I read that, I'll tell you a little bit more about it. And um, yeah, that so this one really helped me be more patient. And this one's kind of okay. And the last book I want. To, actually I'll talk about two more books um, so this one actually is super good too this really helped really take my game to the next level it's called the psychology of poker and um, it talks about the different types of players and the psychology behind why people do the things that they do because the thing about people is that you know they tend to fall into patterns and if they're not aware of those patterns uh, you can sort of pick up on them and um, exploit them in some sort of way. And the other book I couldn't really find that I have is the Gus Hansen's Every Hand Revealed. And I think that is what really made me um, 
a great tournament player is because of that book. Uh, I think once I saw every hand that Gus Hansen was playing and I realized that he is also uh, not 100% sure what to do in each situation, he kind of tries things out and he um, plays a very big range of hands, that it made me realize that I don't need to be perfect to play poker and I don't need, I can make mistakes and it's okay and it's just another um, it's just all a big learning process and every situation is very different and you don't need to play a perfect game of poker from beginning to end in order to win um, a poker tournament. So after that, once I got that confidence, um, again, it's all about the mental game, I think. Because um, once you know the basic skills, you have your mentality right. Um, the rest is just a, number, a numbers game. So the more you play, the more you're gonna win and um, of course, you have to learn more strategies, and but that's a good place to start is to be confident. So, okay, so that's a little bit about po poker from me, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.